Okay, so the next thing is succession planning. So business impacts and interruptions can come from more than just disasters. Okay, it doesn't have to necessarily be a hurricane or, a, or some type of big gigantic event. We can have key people within the business leave the organization. C CEO, CIO, CTO, or other some type of business leader you know, in some capacity. They could leave the organization. They could basically die, I mean, without being morbid. I mean, they could be killed in, in, in you know, a car accident and travel, or they could get promoted and leave their current role. So we need to have succession planning in place so that replacements are identified, perhaps trained ahead of time. Some companies will have formal titles or formal positions that are kind of like a deputy or an assistant, maybe a deputy director or an assistant director. Uh, so that way th these people can step in in short notice, in short order, and take over the job of the person that either you know left the company or is no longer there. And then some companies institute travel policies so that no more than two or three, maybe Four, you know, a very small number of key people can travel together. And that's in, for the, exactly the same reason. You don't want to have all of your eggs in one basket, so to speak, and have your key business leaders all in one plane, one train, whatever. If that were to, if something were to happen to that plane or that, you know, uh, transportation system, you don't want, in essence, your entire leadership team gone in the blink of an eye. So you have to have, you know, policies in place and then succession planning so that if something does happen, you can have other people uh, kind of trained and ready to step up at a moment's notice.